Okay guys, today I'm going to answer a question that's been asked to me a million times. Why do I have to replace my brake fluid? Now if you ask your normal mechanic, he will tell you the brake fluid is old, it's gotten dark, it's burned. But the real reason is uh, brake fluid is what they call a hydroscopic fluid. That means it will collect moisture from the atmosphere. And with that moisture, the boiling point of the brake fluid goes down. Now, a normal dot three brake fluid, the boiling point when it is new coming out of the bottle is 205 degrees Celsius or 401 degrees Fahrenheit. And a dot four like this one is 230 degrees Celsius and 446 degrees Fahrenheit. The important thing, however, is the wet boiling point. Now, the wet boiling point for a dot three brake fluid is 140 degrees, and for a dot four is 155 degrees Celsius. Now, what is the wet boiling point? The wet boiling point is when the brake fluid has absorbed more than 3.7 percent of moisture through the atmosphere. Okay guys, now the big question is how do we know how much moisture is in our brake fluid? Now for this we've got actually a very fancy tool. Uh, I picked this one up, it costed about 200 South African rands. Uh, it is a little sensor with two probes that you actually just put into your brake fluid. And it will tell you the amount of moisture that is in your brake fluid. Now if you switch this little unit on, uh, the green light will go on and it says if it's green, uh, the battery is alright and there is no moisture detected. If the next little light goes on at 1% that will tell you a green light and a yellow light that will tell you less than 1% water. If the green, the yellow and another yellow appears that means you've got 2% of water or moisture in your brake fluid. If the green, the yellow and the red appears that means you've got 3% moisture in your brake fluid and it's time to replace it. And then of course the last one, if green, yellow, yellow, red and red appears that is more than 4%, that means it's fairly critical that you have to replace your brake fluid uh, because you've actually now gone to a very low boiling point. This is actually a very nice little tool, uh, very plain straightforward. You basically just switch it on. Put the two probes into the brake fluid and it will tell you exactly what the moisture level is. Okay right what we're going to do now is I'm going to take some of this brand new brake fluid and I'm just going to pour it into a glass so that you can see nicely. As you can see the brake fluid is fairly clear and we're going to take this little magic tool of ours, switch it on and put the two probes into the brake fluid and as you can see there's no moisture, it's brand new brake fluid this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our city golf, uh, which we know has got very bad and old brake fluid in it. And we're going to take a sample of that brake fluid and compare it to the new one. Okay, right guys, here we are at our city golf. As you can have a look, you'll see that the uh, brake fluid in the brake, fl brake fluid reservoir is already fairly dirty. If we look into it there, it's got a nice brown color to it. So we're going to take our beautiful little machine, switch it on. Put it inside there and as you can see every single light on it lights up which means we've got more than 4% moisture in this brake fluid. I'm actually going to take a sample of this and put it in the glass so that you can see better. Okay guys, right, uh, as you can see here we've got two glasses with brake fluid in. The one on your right hand side is the brand new one and this is a sample that came out of the City Golf. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch this magical little machine on again put it into the new brake fluid as you can see no moisture and when we put it into this one it actually lights up all the way telling us that there is more than 4% moisture in the brake fluid. Okay guys this is a magical little tool uh, it's the type of thing that I would say every single person that owns a motor vehicle need to have keep it in your glove box you can check your brake fluid quality at any stage uh, it's actually a safety critical thing 
so I would definitely suggest get hold of one of these if you try if you want to get hold of them please feel free to email me and I'll give you the details of where to get hold of them okay on the next video what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to replace your brake fluid uh, so that will be the next video coming up if you like my channel subscribe hit the like button or feel free to leave a comment